Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement that how to load dependent value set values in Oracle Fusion. So for that, what you have to do, you have to create the value set. So for that, you have to go to the setup and maintenance and within the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the search and within the search, you have to type manage value sets. So the task name called manage value sets. Once the moment you will redirect to the manage value set, I have already created value set one value set i have created the independent and then second i have created the dependent value set so i will show you for the dependent value set first we have searched the independent value set called indp1 and if you see the code name is indp1 and if you go to the manage values you will see the values over there so that is what i loaded we'll see and we'll load that Second, if you click on the pencil icon, so you will see that. So I have defined the value set code, the description, the module. Module you can choose as per your business need. Validation type you can define as per your business need. Value data type would be character. And then if you are using the data security resource name, you can use that. Otherwise, leave it because it's optional. Then the value subtype would be text, the maximum length, you can set it. And then the maximum value and the minimum value you can set as per your business need. And then once we enable this flag, uppercase only, then system will accept all those values in uppercase only. So this is how we define the independent value set. And then what I did, I defined the another value set called dependent DEP1. So that is our dependent value set. So if you click on the pencil icon, so value set code is DEP1, the description, the module, and then validation type would be dependent. And then value data type would be character. And you can see that the maximum length is 10 and then value subtype is text. And if you see that the value set code, this dependent value set is dependent on the earlier defined value set. So that is our INDP1. So that is our value set code. If you click on the manage values, so what I did, I recently uploaded the two values. So you can see that the values is NY and then the independent. So that is the linkage with the independent and the dependent value set. And you just simply save and close. Now, We'll move to the how we can load into Oracle Fusion. This is how you can define it into the system. Now for the loading, what you have to do, basically you have to create two files. So we'll learn that. So first we'll move to the INDP one. So let me show you. So we'll open into Notepad++. So if you see that the column name value set code, the pipe delimiter and then value, then pipe and then enabled flag. We have just loaded the values INDP1 USAY. Now what I will do, I will replace since this value is already present into the system. So load the other values will load UK INDP1 that is our independent value set code name and then UK is a value and then enabled flag is Y. So we have defined and save this one record and then we'll move to the next record that is our dependent value set so first we'll load this data into the system so let's move to the system so to load the data what you have to do you have to first go to the navigator within the navigator you have to click on the tools and within tools files import and export and then you have to click on plus and you have to choose your file. So we have kept it INDP1. That is our the value set code name. We saved with the same name. You can save 
file with the different name as well it won't impact only thing is that you have to choose the value set code name correctly now you have to click on open so indp fund.csv and then you have to go to the account so once you choose the setup manager import you have to click on save and close and we can see that we have loaded the file to ucm now we'll copy the account information we'll go back to the navigator we can import these values from the ui and in the last session we have already learned how we can automate all these values via the ess job so we'll process all these values via ess job so for that we'll search the ess job name called process value and then find so you can see that the ess process for value set values upload you have to click on okay and then you have to provide the account information so that we have already provided the setup forward slash functional setup manager and then forward slash import now the file name so recently we have loaded the file name called indp1.csv so the full file name you have to provide so indp1.csv so this extension you have to make sure that you have entered the values and then simply you have to click on submit values we have loaded we have loaded the uk within the independent value set so if you are defining the independent or non independent values and based on that you are defining the dependent value set as per your business need you can define that even though you can use the table value set as well the most important thing is that while loading the dependent value set you have to make sure that within the independent values those values are valid and available within the system so if you are using the free tax then there won't be any validation if you are using independent then the independent value set must have all those values predefined in the system and if you are using the table based extracting or fetching that data within the independent values you make sure that the data will be present now we'll move to the validation part so we have uploaded and now we can see that it succeeded so we'll move to the manage value set and first we'll search indp1 and then we'll try to search the values whether it successfully loaded in the system or not we'll try to search now you can see that we have loaded the another new value called uk and we'll save and close now we'll try to load the dependent value set for the dependent value set what you have to make sure within the column you have to add one more column called independent value so first column would be remain same the values value remain same and then you have to add one more column called independent value so this is the very important part of it and then enable flag if you want to add the description you can add before the independent value you can add the description as well now the value set we have defined the value set code as a dep1 and then we have the earlier values so we'll change so now we are associating these values with the uk so what we have to do we have to enter so we are entering london and then we'll enter the independent values uk since we have already defined the uk values as a independent values within the independent value set now we do one more value dp1 and then we add one more new values so we'll add the taxas and then we'll add the pipe and then we'll add usa and then we'll add the pipe and then enable flag yes so the taxas will be dependent on the usa and then london dependent on the uk and the value set code we have correctly mentioned and you have to save the record once you save the record what you have to do you have to go to the same the navigator and then file import and export within the tools and once you enter then you have to try to load so we'll add and load the file so dep1 click on open so dep1.csv our file name and then the account information we have to load 
or enter the same from the list of values. So we have chosen the setup functional setup manager import. Once the moment we chosen the account information, we have to go back to the navigator and then we have to go to the tools and within tools, we have to run the schedule process. And to choose the schedule process, we have to click on schedule new process and then enter process percent value percent. It will prompt the ESS job name called ESS process for value set values upload. We'll click on OK. Once the moment will click on OK, we'll paste the account information and then the file name. So file name, you have to make sure that whatever the file name you have loaded with the extension, the correct information you have entered within the file name and then simply click on submit. Once the moment you click on submit, you have to wait the ESS shop to be proceed successfully in the system. So we'll wait for that ESS job to be processed. So now we can see that it succeeded. We'll go back and we'll try to search the dependent value set values. So our dependent value set code is DP1. And then if I click on the manage values and try to search, so we'll see all two new values added within the dependent value set. So London associated to UK and then Texas associated to USA. And if you want to add the description, the start date and date, and other DFF, you can refer our earlier videos and you can achieve your business requirement. You can load that accordingly. So this is how you can achieve this kind of business requirement within Oracle Fusion. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, happy learning.